guys, welcome back to Enchanted by You. My name is Cassandra, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here a while, thank you so much. I love having you all around, and I appreciate you so much. Can't tell you that enough. And it is getting upon Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is, of course, known for its turkey and eating and all that, but it's also known for crazy family members. So I thought that we would kind of do a spirit box session and some crazy stuff around my crazy family members. So let me tell you a weird kind of story. Um, I have an aunt, and I'll edit her name out when I'm using it through the spirit box, but basically, she is older than my mom, let's see, there's four girls in the, four sisters, and, uh, two brothers, and we won't get into the brothers right now, but we will get into three of the sisters, one of them being my mom, so I have this aunt, and when she was very little, she got a cat, and she didn't know where she named it came up with the name, but she came up with the name of Pie Wacket for the name of this cat. And then this name, I guess, has been in the family for, um, since then. A lot of people have named their cats that, so it's been in the family for a while now, uh, because this aunt is, um, I guess in her 60s or so, um, something like that. She's quite a bit older than my mom, but, uh, so that's kind of the story of the weird cat. Okay, so as far as the name Pie Wacket, um, and how it makes all this kind of crazy. She was little, she didn't know where she got this name from, uh, and the only mention of Pie Wacket really throughout history was in a book that a man, his name was Matthew Hopkins, and he was a witch hunter, and he wrote a a book called Discovery of Witches, and it was written in 1647. Well, he was a witch hunter from, I guess, 1644 to 1647. And a little bit of crazy history before we get into all that, but a little bit of crazy history on him. He was a witch hunter. He had been a witch hunter for three years. He was only actually out witch hunting for 14 months. And during the 14 months, he killed 300 of the 500 witches that have been killed in a 160-year period. He was from a place called Manning... Manning Tree um, in Essex, England, and he wrote, when he wrote his book, Discovery, Discovery of Witches, basically what he said in there is that there was a set of witches that were holding a special meeting or seance near his house, and so he went out and he spied on them, and he heard them say a name, you know, they were talking to one another, and one of them mentioned the name of a local woman. Um, so basically, she was there, and someone had said her name, and he overheard this name. Well, after that, he had her arrested, uh, because he believed that she was part of, you know, this witch's covenant. So he had her arrested and kept her awake for four days, and after four days, she finally confessed to being a witch. And after that time, um, she called upon her familiars. Now, she had what was it, like 10, 11 familiars that she called upon. The first five were uh, cats. Um, let's see, there was a cat, there was a couple dogs. There was like some some weird kind of animal, but but it's really a ferret. Um, it has a, a weird name. They didn't call it a ferret back then. And supposedly there were witnesses to those. The other familiars that she called upon at that time, um, he quote, and I want it, make sure I got it right, so I wrote it down here, but he said, no mortal could invent, um, because they were so terrifying, so scary, and one of the names of these familiars was Piwacket, and so it is believed that he was talking about imps. Now, imps can, in, in folklore, they can be considered fairies, or they can also be considered demons, so this name, Piwacket, is this which is familiar according to him and this is the only account of the name Pie Wacket that I could find at all but according to him this name Pie Wacket was the name of basically a demon um, so evil so scary that you know no mortal could come up with such a thing and so that's the history that I found after researching it where this Pie Wack came now I talked to my mom about this she's the one that brought this up to me she like some kind of weird stuff has come up recently and basically what happened that that kind of creeped her out and she was talking to me about this is that my aunt Donna passed away um, maybe about three years ago from cancer and she was while she was on her deathbed my mom of course went and visited her sat with her stayed with her and she was very out of it they had given her a lot of pain medicine because she she was passing and so she was pretty much 
you know, gone. Um, she wasn't talking, she wasn't hardly even opening her eyes, but she was still alive. Uh, but during that time that my mom sat with her, my mom must have sat with her for maybe almost a week while she was passing, um, three different occasions would jump up and my my aunt would, you know, out of this like medically induced coma almost, jump up and grab my mom and and my mom got this like sense of that she was tr that that my aunt was trying to warn her of something really bad something something horrible so we don't know what that is though because my aunt Donna couldn't speak couldn't couldn't talk couldn't anything at the time but she would jump up and grab tightly on my mom and my mom said that she saw a fear in her eyes and that it seemed like my aunt was trying to warn her of something bad so Getting back to the pie wacket thing. I was talking to my mom about that. My mom had brought that up because she was missing her sister and, and was talking about that. And then she started putting a couple of weird things together. And she had gotten in a fight with one of her other sisters. And she had said to her other sister, God bless you. You know, they were in a fight and basically that's the way of saying, you know, she said, God bless you as in, you know, I hope you're doing well, but I'm done with you. We're not talking anymore. God bless you, good luck. And then my aunt typed back that, you know, you don't have the power to curse me. So that's kind of weird. Um, also, well, there was a time um, several years back, I guess about six years ago, where my mom was staying with my aunt, went and visited that aunt, um, the one that was talking about curses and stuff, and who had also had the cat named Pie Wacket. And she had an office in her house. And no one was allowed to go in there, and even her, the my aunt's dogs did not want to go in there, in her office. Well, my mom, looking for her one day, opened the door, went in there, saw a whole bunch of things like candles and incense and stuff like that. And when my aunt saw my mom in her office, she came running out, screaming, yelling, saying, no one's allowed to go in there, that's my space. So, there is my mom, who's kind of had all these crazy experiences with my aunt who named her cat after a demon when she was a child, a demon that was only mentioned back in the year 1644 from a witch hunter. Um, and then my other aunt who was passing, who was grabbing my mom while she was passing um, in fear and trying to warn her of something. So I guess, I don't know, I want to talk about crazy family stories for Thanksgiving, you know. Uh, did one aunt put a curse on the family? And we'll just call her like Molly for now, okay? Um, that had the cat, that named her cat, um, Pie Wacket, even though nothing had been mentioned about any Pie Wacket except for in a book from 1644. So did that Aunt Molly, did she put a curse on the family? My family's had some really crazy things happen to it, I guess you could say. Um, and what was my Aunt Donna trying to warn the family about or warn my mother about? Was she seeing something horrible because she was really scared but she couldn't talk? Me, being a medium, I thought, hey, let's talk to the spirits and find out. I don't know if Ethan and E will want to go over and visit my Aunt Molly uh, and see what's in her house, but um, if they do and they could tell us what's going on, that would be pretty cool. So let's see if my family's cursed for Thanksgiving. You know, happy Thanksgiving. Let's start off with crazy family members. And uh, let's get the spirit box going. I do two spirit box sessions here. Um, I do the PSV 7 spirit box, the typical one that you'll see on all the ghost shows and a lot of the YouTube shows. Um, it's a great spirit box. It is really noisy. I don't add out the noise, I believe, and I have found that um, some spirits are stronger than others, and if you edit out all the noise, then you're not going to hear the weaker spirit. So you won't see me editing my noise, and I also don't edit the uh, spirit box sessions of videos, so I don't clip those so you know that I'm not inserting stuff. I know some YouTubers do that, and it really upsets me. If you're going to stay the paranormal, you got to do it 100% real, 100% raw, and that means 100% noise. Um, the second spirit box that I use is actually an app and is an iOS app. It is called SBX 12 Spirit Box Lite. I'm not affiliated with that company. I only use the free version. Uh, works great for me, but again, lots more noise. But I want to find out if our family has this curse, if my Aunt Molly is a witch in the black magic. And I have no problem with witches, but black magic witches, yes. 
Like, especially if you're putting curses on your own family. That's kind of messed up. So, let's see. And, you know, ask the spirits, too. What what was my Aunt Donna trying to warn my mother about? So, let's get to the boxes started. Prepare for the noise, because it's going to get loud. Okay, let's see if we can get this to stop moving. Ethan, hi. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Yeah. Today, since it's getting closer to Thanksgiving, I figured we would talk about my crazy family. Uh, yeah, you're probably being like, yeah, which one, right? Anyway, <laughs> um, I want to know, is my Aunt Molly, and that's not her real name, but I talked to you guys before this, so I told you which aunt I'm talking about, and you guys probably know by now. Is my Aunt Molly... A, don't say her name. Is my Aunt Molly a a witch in the black magic? You have to, you have to come through more clear. Is she an evil witch? I mean, I don't like her, but that, you know. <laughs> but is she evil? Does she practice black magic? Come on, Ethan, you said you were there. You guys aren't talking much. Is there a curse on my family? Did my aunt put a curse on the rest of the family? Hello? You're looking? Is that what you said? Didn't my aunt put a curse on the family? Is the name Piwacket? Is it really a demon? Is Pi What? Is Piwacket really a demon? What did my Aunt Donna see when she was passing that she was trying to warn my mother about? Three different occasions she jumped up and grabbed onto my mom and was trying to tell her something and she was afraid. What was she warning her about? It's horrifying what? What was horrifying? Is that what you said? What did Donna see? What was it that Donna saw that she was so afraid of? Does my mom need to be afraid? Okay. 
Okay, let's try the other spirit box real quick. Let's try try the app real quick. Sometimes we can get like fuller sentences and everything um, from the app. So I do like it. But yeah, seems kind of crazy. I didn't hear a lot, which that's probably the, like the lowest I've heard in a long time. Okay, so here is the app again. It is SVX12 Spirit Box Light. I like I said I use a light version, and it's gonna be noisy too. So let's ask some questions. Uh, I say it's gonna be noisy, and now can't hear anything. Turn up. You hear my dog snorting. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? What in the world? This is so weird guys. I don't know why this isn't working. I've never had it just be silent before. Okay. Clearing everything off my phone. Let's go ahead together. So you watch me. Turn the app on. Okay, the speed, we gotta change the speed. We want there we go. We got noise. To 150. And that gives you an idea of how loud it's gonna get. So be careful. Ethan and E, are you there? Can you please talk to me and let me know uh, what is going on with my Aunt Molly? Is she a witch in the black magic? Okay guys, sorry about that cut. My camera just shut off. Um, I have been recording a while, so it could very well be that. Uh, but it's kind of weird that I can't get my spirit box with my phone to work. And now my camera's shutting off. But let's go ahead and start again. And let's see. Ethan and E, can you tell me about my witch? Or my, sorry, ha. Can you tell me about my aunt? Is she a dark witch? That was weird. Did she put a curse on the family? Is Pie Wacket really a demon? What was my Aunt Donna trying to tell my mom? when she grabbed her while my Aunt Donna was on her deathbed. Where did my aunt, let's say Molly, where did she get the name Pie Wacket? Okay, I'm going to let you go. Thank you, guys. Okay, well, that is my crazy... I guess you could say Thanksgiving family story. Um, 
yeah, so uh, I can't wait to go review that and see what I find out and have my specialist review it and see what he says. Um, sounds really weird. I wasn't getting a lot of responses, so I'm not quite sure what to think about all that. But whatever we do here, we will put it out through the or put it throughout the videos. Anything you hear, of course, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm also, so excited that I have a whole bunch of new merch out. So. Go check out the merch shop, www.teespring.com slash Enchanted Bayou. There's everything from phone cases to pillows to mugs to cool hoodies to, gosh, long sleeve shirts to t-shirts. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff and I'm really excited about it. I uh, definitely want all you guys to see it and let me know what you think. Um, and if you do get anything, make sure you send me a picture on Twitter or through email. And let me know if you want, because if you don't want to, that's okay. Um, to be posted, but I will post you in a video if you only if you want me to because I'm kind of one of those people that's like, no, 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 I'm shy, uh, even though I have a YouTube channel, which kind of is weird. Um, but anyway, love y'all. Hope you guys are doing good and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm.